All right, today we're talking about areas of triangles and parallelograms. Bases of a parallelogram. Either pair, either pair of parallel sides of a parallelogram are called the bases. All right, the height of a parallelogram, the shortest distance between bases, is the height. And this is a perpendicular distance. Height is always measured in a perpendicular distance, and we've talked about that before. All right, area of a square. You've seen area of a square before. Area equals side squared. Okay, area congruence. If two figures are congruent, what can you talk about their areas? Well, if they're congruent, that means they're the same size and same shape. All right, so they have the same area. Area addition postulate. Okay, for instance, if you have a room, you know, like this that you're trying to carpet, all right, you cut it off, all right, you find the area of that portion, you find the area of this portion, and you add them together and you have the area of the whole room, all right, that's the area addition postulate, the sum of the areas, okay. Area of a rectangle, you've used this before, you should know this equation, area equals base times height. Area of a parallelogram. Same thing, area equals base times height. All right, that is a new equation for us, but we know what a base is, we know what a height is, we can find the area of a parallelogram. Uh, lastly, area of a triangle, this is not new for us, area equals one half base times height. All right, and that's not a new equation either. Okay, first problem here. Find the area of parallelogram ABCD. And again, that notation means parallelogram. All right, and again, a height goes from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side or the opposite side extended. Okay, we're talking about a parallelogram, so we know the area equation is area equals base times height. Okay, so here, this segment goes from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side extended. Okay, so the height is 4. The base is the opposite side, which is 9, so the area equals 36. Okay, units squared. All right, and um, we can also look at, if you look at here, 4.5, this one here, goes from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. That, that's the definition of a height. That could be the height as well. You know, so you still have that same equation. All right, so we could go area equals 4.5. Okay, now if that's the height, what would the base then be? Well, the base would then be segment CD which has length 8, because opposite sides in a parallelogram are kind of growing. And 8 times 4 and a half, that is 36 as well. Okay? All right. Checkpoint. Please try these two problems on your own, all right, and find the area of these two figures. Find the area of the triangle, the large triangle, the gray triangle, and find the area of this parallelogram. Okay? All right, the base of a triangle is four times its height. The area of the triangle is 50 square inches. Find the base and the height. So we have some triangle, all right? We know the height is, the base of the triangle is four times its height. So if here it's, is its height. If that's the height, then this is the base here, okay? And our base is four times that, so four times h. And the area of the triangle is 50 square inches. Well, we find the area, we're talking about the area of a triangle, so let's talk about it. Area equals one half base times height, right? Now what do we know about that formula? Well, we know the area is 50 square inches equals one half. The base is 4h, and the height is h. Okay, simplifying here, we get 50 equals 1 half times 4, that's 2, h times h is h squared, okay? Find the base and the height, so we have to solve for the height, and then we've got to find the base. So, solving this equation here, we divide by 2, h squared equals 25, get rid of the squared, so we've got to take the square root, h equals 5 inches. Alright, so the height is 5 inches, so our height is 5 inches. Our base, which was 4h, okay, so our base is then 4 times 5, so our base is 20 inches. Okay? Next example. 
All right, a robotic vacuum cleaner can clean two square meters of carpet in eight minutes, but how long does it take for it to clean a carpet cover in a room with the dimensions shown at the right? All right, so the first thing is we got to find the area of this. Okay, so again, we can make our two rectangles here, or our two shapes, all right? This one has a shape of, that's nine meters, and this length here is, so if the whole thing is nine and this is five, that has to be four. Okay, that's a rectangle then, area of a rectangle, base times height. And this one here is a square, the area equals side squared. Okay, so our total area would be the area of the rectangle plus the area of the square, right? So that our total area is going to equal base times height, 9 times 4, plus side squared, that's 5 squared. So the total area would equal 9 times 4 is 36 plus 25. So our total area equals uh, 61 meters squared. Okay. Now our vacuum here cleans two square meters of carpet in eight minutes. So if it covers cleans two square meters in eight minutes, how long is it going to take to clean this room? Okay. Well, we got two meters squared to for eight minutes. There's our one ratio. We know our area is 61 meters squared. Okay, we don't know how long it's going to be. So we set up our proportion. Now solve. So we get 8 times 61, 2 meters squared times x. So 2 meters squared x equals, all right, multiply 8 times 61, we get 488 meters squared minutes. All right, those are multiplied together. Divide by two meters squared. Meters squared cancel. So x equals 488 divided by two. That is 244, 244 minutes. Okay. About how long does it take for it to clean a carpet cover in a room with the dimensions shown on the right? 244 minutes, okay which is about four hours, okay? All right, here's another checkpoint. All right, please try this problem on your own and bring that to class. We'll talk about it in class. So I want you to do this problem as well as I want you to do, excuse me, these two problems here, all right? So three problems I want you to try, okay? And uh, thanks a lot.